Came here for the very first time last year. I started in 1981. I just celebrated being 25 years at Dollywood. Woo the Smoky Mountains was our go-to place for vacations. And it was always a joke in our family when mom and dad retire, we're gonna to move to the Smoky Mountains and work at Dollywood. I have an identical twin sister that runs the train and who convinced me this was the best place to work. I decided that I wanted to try something different. Interviewed and they hired me. Best thing they've done. We started asking each other what you want to do and it was like I want to move to Smoky Mountains and I want to work at Dollywood. We couldn't wait to give back to what our family had loved for so many years. We laughed a lot. <laughs> How would I describe to him? <laughs> Be careful. <laughs> He's a role model and an example on how to bring up the mission. When we promoted her, she had a standing ovation, I mean, from everybody. Leanne is one of a kind. She's the boss. Yeah. She thinks yeah, she is. Her. Yeah. No, I am the boss. She's the kind of person you, you really won't have working with you and backing you up, as long as she's not your neighbor. I don't even know. I don't really have words for him right now. It's actually brought joy to me from the environment I used to work to here at Dollywood. We do what we can to take care of each other. It's not something that I ever experienced before coming here. Yeah, they make you feel important, they make you feel wanted. One of the things that I know from personal experience is when both my parents passed, my work family brought food, they cared for me, they took care of my job when I was not able to be at work. We pray for our leadership team, all of the hosts of the park, for all the guests that are coming and just in some way, if we could just impact their lives. We really interact with our guests and we talk to them and we, we make it the best day for them. We had a group of us on the tram team and we were gonna go to dinner down at the Hatfield McCoys. And we were standing in line waiting to go into the dinner show and there was a young couple standing in line in front of us. And they started to ask me about places that they should go to. And I said, well, of course you're gonna to go to Dollywood, right? The lady said, well, I just don't think we're gonna be able to go there. I said, there's no place more magical at Christmas than Dollywood. Got the tickets, we gave it to them. We got in the car right after work and I had gotten a text from them. They had a really great time. They talked about the things they enjoyed, like the cinnamon bread and the train ride and different things. And then she said, I don't think we told you, but we came there on a spur of the moment because we had just lost a baby. But Dollywood gave some light into their life in a very dark time. So this spring, I texted them and I said, if you guys ever want to come back, we would love to treat you again and they told us that they weren't able to come right now because they're expecting a baby in September. So we are so excited. And I said, look, when that baby's born and you're ready to bring that baby, it'll be my treat. Everybody's going through something. And my goal every day when I come to work is I want everyone to know that they are seen, they are noticed, and they are somebody. Not only have I built friends, but I've built my family. It's like a family reunion when, you, when we open back every, every March and uh, 30 years went by in a blink. I have friends and family here. I love the people at Dollywood. I'm glad I made this decision to be here.